Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist and master for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the singer, songwriter, musician, Larissa Birdseye. Hi, Larissa. How are you? Hi, John. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Thanks, Larissa. Listen, Larissa, I would love to uh, share with our audience, you know, your latest release for GTFU on YouTube. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, great, everyone. Let's tune in to Larissa Birdseye with GTFU. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I've been with you every night, been sleeping by your side. You still won't put up a fight for me. Bring you breakfast on a plate like mama did when you were eight. You still expect it all for free. You say you need more time. You push it 35. Boy, you know we don't live forever. You act like you don't care. Started to lose your hair. You tell your friends we not together. Grow the fuck. to share your music with everyone thanks can you yeah. tell me now where are you from and how did you become a singer songwriter or musician um so i'm based out of portland oregon um huh. i've been touring up and down the west coast and kind of playing the east coast so i'm uh, you know i get around a little bit but based based in oregon and um i got into music as just sort of a scared kid writing songs on a guitar that I hid from everyone for years until I kind of gathered the courage to to do something with it so I've been working in the industry for the last six years kind of busting my ass as an independent artist uh -huh. consistently putting out music and uh yeah I love it I wouldn't trade it for anything I'm so glad that you're following your heart's you know desire your soul's calling you know what I mean and and, and it's interesting yeah. how you said you know you kind of hid you know, and with your instrument and just kind of like delved into that as almost like a safe zone. Um, yeah. And what happened was, you know, all this beautiful art emerged as a result. And, you know, to get the courage to bust out is like, you know, it means that you've recognized in yourself a certain expertise that you're developing, which is really cool, your own signature thing, you know? So I love that. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think uh, when you create art, I, it's it, it's for you but I think that like the push to to deliver it to other people it becomes less about you and becomes more about like the audience that you're creating and I think that's my favorite part is something that was so personal in the beginning has become something like I think music and art is just the most universal you know kind of like thing that we can all access um, whenever I've gone through hard times it always like blows my mind that most people you know most people don't create art out of it like most people aren't writing songs when they go through a really difficult thing so I have that ability and I think in that most people listen to music and they feel something that is like true in their own lives and they can connect to that and feel less alone so I kind of recognized that I could do that and I was like okay all right 
I'll, I just have to, I have to. <laughs> that's really, man, that's awesome. And it's so true. I mean, and I agree with you. It is the universal connector. It's the thing that we all appreciate. And if you think about, you know, ancient cultures up to present day, you know, have always used music as a form of communication and, and expressing to one another, but also to the greater natural world. And so yeah. I think that you're right. These themes of uh, heartbreaks and, you know, um, and other, you know, victories and just the, the gamut of emotional spectrum and the human experience is, is expressed through art. And it's really celebratory to, uh, to appreciate that and in all its various forms. And so I appreciate the way you're doing it, Marissa. Now, yeah. let me ask this question then, you know, um, what are you working on now and what's coming up for you in the future here? So um, I have been steadily releasing singles the last year. I think I did what a lot of artists did during the pandemic, which uh -huh. was go into hibernation because we weren't able to be on the same touring schedule. We weren't able to play the same gigs. So I sat down and I just wrote, I learned a new instrument and I started playing piano. And what kind of, what came out of that time um, is an album that I'm working on so mm. I believe it's going to be 10 tracks I've already released a couple of them um and I think that should be coming in the fall of this year but I'll be steadily releasing songs through that throughout that time so it's sort of um it's my I, th I say it's my last sad record I'm not I don't want to write anymore about the man <laughs> who broke my heart but it's also it's not just sad I feel like it's also very triumphant in some ways I think there's a lot of power in addressing like trauma and pain and being able to kind of call call that out I think what my intention as an artist is is to uh, is to like be an example of like the, the allowing the self to go through to go through the process like not bearing the pain like naming it and calling it out and screaming it out and then moving through it you know I think that's how we get through grief is we just have to we have to be real about what's happened and then in that in that release we set ourselves free that is beautiful and I think that's very wise and that's something you <laughs> discovered through experience right and mm -hmm. and the fact that you know that you were able to encapsulate and capture it in these songs and deliver it through your music you know it's going to be very relatable to an audience that also is maybe challenged with the same kind of pain and when they hear yeah. you know a, a liberation of overcoming um whatever it might be um, then, you know, there is healing and there's, you know, a, a celebratory feeling of, you know, I made it through, you know what I mean? I can do this kind of thing. And so I really love it that that, you know, you say it's your last sad one. Well, it's the last sad one for now. <laughs> for now, I know. <laughs> you, can't, you can't like divorce pain in life. Like it just comes right. in waves. Sometimes you have good seasons. Sometimes you have painful seasons, but like, ultimately how you react to to them is what gets you forward and what pushes you through uh, so yeah. cool very cool now let me ask this question what about social media what do you use to present promote your work yeah so i am currently i i think my my main platform is is instagram um tiktok i'm active on, on tiktok i've got a website um i have a patreon which is very exciting oh, cool. that's kind of a newer that's a newer thing and i've been able to use that as sort of like a behind the scenes look into my songwriting process because as an independent artist producing so like all of the songs that you write would be insanely expensive yeah. so what i've done is i take a lot of the songs that are sort of my b-sides and i'll you know I'll, I'll demo them out so if you're like a true fan you can access that for like a, you know ten dollars a month or something um facebook i'm active on facebook youtube i've been one of my mediums i love i just absolutely adore music videos so i have a uh -huh. ton of Ton of live mm -hmm. videos, ton of music videos on that. And uh, yeah, just everywhere you can Google this name, you can find me. <laughs> All right, I love it. Well, we're also going to be looking forward to having you on the Phoenix 360 app where fans can connect with you there and you can potentially collaborate with other artists as well. And so Larissa, it's so great to visit with you. I love, you know, the inspirational music that you're creating and, uh, and your attitude. And, and I think it's really helpful and, um, and, and looking forward to following your progress. Thanks for being with me. Thank you so much, John. I really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. Me too. Thanks, Larissa. Okay, everybody, tune into the social channels you find below for Larissa Birdseye and check her out on Phoenix 360. Take care, Larissa. Bye.
Barely think about you when I drive through your town And every now and then I Forget that we were ever friends there I'm glad I'm not the girl still crying outside your house Tell me what you want, what you want from me I bet you're just so f-